Praise God, praise God, praise God, family. Dr. Basemore here, the Detox Prophet. So glad that the Lord has ordered your steps this way. You can tell by the title that this is a prophetic word in season for the week of April the 11th. And we're also continuing with our Book of Revelation Bible study. We're on chapters 15 through 18. And if this is your first time here, there is a playlist for the Bible study, the book of Revelation, and I will make sure that I have that in the description box. Also in the description box, you'll find more information. Uh, there are scripture references there, as well as if you would like to have the uh, written uh, uh, transcript of this particular Bible study and uh, prophetic word, then please read the description box. We also encourage you to comment and uh, click the like button uh, whenever you feel an amen in your spirit. That like button, we're using it in this ministry as our amen. So join the amen corner and just give us a like. That's your amen if you hear anything that speaks to you. We also ask you to share, share, share. Sharing is caring. So please share and God bless you all. If you've sent me an email, I think I'm up to date in responding to my emails. There may be one more. If you haven't heard from me, I will be um, getting back to you soon. Please know that I read the emails and you are being uh, lifted in prayer. So God bless you for reaching out to me and I count it a privilege to minister. So we're going to go ahead and get into this uh, prophetic word and this book of Revelation Bible study. I want to start out with this word. God desires to communicate with his people intimately. We are reminded that Adam and Eve were blessed to have access to God as they communed and they fellowshiped in the Garden of Eden. And we know that God has not changed. God still has revelation to release into the earth realm through his people. And one of the ways that he accomplishes his communication purposes is through the prophetic ministry. Remember that Paul encourages us to desire the gift of prophecy for the edification of the church. Again, we are encouraged to desire the gift of prophecy for the edification of the church. And as you know, uh, the Lord allows me to bring you encouraging messages every week. We have messages for you on Sundays and Wednesdays and Fridays. And whenever the Lord will uh, speak to us to share a message with you. And we are living in an age of unprecedented acceleration of technological advances. So we know that since the Lord is allowing technology to invade the earth, we know that he will indeed use it for our good and his glory. But this does require a willingness on our part to seek the Lord's good and perfect divine sovereign will in all matters pertaining to life. That means the earthly systems and kingdoms of religion, education, healthcare, arts, entertainment, justice, business, economics, and the rest. And the book of Revelation, it clearly reveals that God can and God will use anything created for his purposes. Almighty God has all power and total control over everything. God has the authority to command all the principalities, the powers, the hosts to align with his sovereign plans throughout all history. And he knows the end from the beginning. According to the biblical calendar, we are walking into the month of Iyar on March 13th of the Gregorian calendar. The tribe of Issachar is associated with this month. So expect intense, spiritual, prophetic dreams and Holy Spirit interpretations to discern the times and the seasons for you and those in your sphere of influence to act. God has appointed 
times for all things. So this month of Iyar also reminds us that our God is Rapha. He is our healer. You look forward to supernatural healing miracles in specific areas of disorder and misalignment. Lay the hands of God's word on your situations, your circumstances, your conditions, and with an expectation of healing and deliverance, for now, shout out hallelujah. Give him the highest praise. God inhabits our praise. Praise him anyhow. Even before you see the manifestation in the earth realm, praise God. This is a season of healing. It's a season of restoration. It's a season of rejuvenation. It's a season of replenishment. It's a season of God strengthening you. And it's also a season of prosperity. And remember, prosperity does not just speak to finances. It speaks to the prosperity of our spirits, the prosperity of our souls, the prosperity of our bodies, our relationships. It speaks to all of the abundant life that Jesus Christ said he came that we would have. So I want to remind you that God is with us. He's outside of time. And when we give attention to these uh, biblical uh, months and uh, what God is doing in the spirit realm, uh, we can rest assured that his glory, his glory, his glory is being made manifest and we can have the peace that surpasses all understanding. Shout hallelujah, glory to God. And I will be back with our Bible study. On today's Bible study, I'm going to be summarizing chapters 15, 16, 17, and 18, and I encourage you to read those chapters. The 15th chapter of the book of Revelation is speaking to uh, the prelude to the bowl judgments and the seven plagues, which are the last plagues God will send before Christ returns, complete the wrath of God. And they are much stronger and widespread than the trumpet judgment. The tone in Revelation 15 speaks to God's law and his grace. And the images here remind us of God's people's exodus from Egypt. And it reminds us that God is able to save, set free, heal and deliver spiritually and physically. And you uh, know that throughout this Bible study, I've just been reminding uh, that uh, uh, this is a book of encouragement. Remember, God has the victory. We have the victory in Christ Jesus. And uh, so as we move on into chapter 16, uh, chapter 16 is going to walk us through the bowls of wrath. And um, we know that the uh, First bowl is the loathsome sores, and then the second bowl is the sea turning to blood. The third bowl, the waters turn to blood. The fourth bowl, men are scorched. The fifth bowl speaks to darkness and pain. The sixth bowl, Euphrates dried up. And then the seventh bowl, the earth being utterly shaken ends this 16th chapter. So this chapter also references Armageddon and uh, the battle of Armageddon is located, the battleground of Armageddon is located in the Valley of Jezreel in Israel. And it speaks to the great and final war between the forces of good and evil. And so uh, we then move into chapter 17, where we find that in cha uh, uh, Revelation chapter 17, that uh, the scarlet woman and the scarlet beast, as well as the meaning of the woman and the beast are revealed to us. So we know that uh, Revelation clearly reveals uh, false religion or spiritual adultery, symbolic, um, symbolically uh, shown as that of a prostitute and or harlot. It reminds us that, uh, that even though man looks at the outer appearance, God knows the heart. God always looks to the heart. Man looks to the outer and God looks to the heart. And as you read through chapter 17, um, uh, uh, 
uh, verse seven begins to give you the meaning of this woman and the beast. And then the chapter ends uh, with the mystery that's speaking to the kings and the mountains and that we are reminded once again that uh, God is in control. So you just want to take your time reading through this chapter, allowing the Holy Spirit to give you great revelation, allowing the Holy Spirit to take you back to other passages of scripture that will even bring out more, uh, deeper levels of this revelation that God is, is giving to you. So um, as I said, I'm just summarizing these, um, these uh, chapters this week. And um, we move to the chapter number 18. And uh, this is where um, here Babylon is uh, the city which is devoted to wealth, materialism, and self-centeredness, um, among other things. And so the fall of Babylon speaks to Babylon's judgment for her spiritual fornication and her sinful works. And this uh, chapter clearly reminds us of Romans 12:19. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. So um, we know, I, I just keep saying it, I can't say it enough, that God has all things under his control. He's sovereign. He's still on his throne. And so it doesn't matter um, uh, what's going on in the world because we know that it's all working. It's all working toward God's uh, faithful end. It's all working um, according to what God already put in place, knowing even what would happen in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve, even before the beginning. So God already knew what Adam and Eve would do. He already knew about sin and God already had a perfect plan, his sovereign plan and his word never returns unto him void. You can believe God. You can trust God. It all works out for the good. Remember all things are working together for the good of them that love the Lord. They, do, they that are the called according to his purpose. So you keep the faith, stay in love, uh, keep your hope. Just know that God knows all about you individually, but he knows all about every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, every situation, every circumstance, every condition, every event. God knows it all. He's omniscient. He's all knowing. So I pray that you will, uh, Take the word of God, the promises of God for yourself, that you will believe that he loves you and that you will live your most highest blessed life, blessed to be a blessing, honoring God as you serve and are an excellent steward over that which he has entrusted to you. Well, this is Dr. Baysmore, the detox prophet, saying God bless you, God bless you, and God bless you.